disappointing January so far for snow lovers, but if you're not a fan of winter, I tell you what, we have had some bonus mild conditions. As you look at the month so far, every day at or above normal, we did start the month 50s and 60s, actually two days already. Uh, you know, we've only had, this is only the 11th day of the month, we've already had two days over 60, and you know, the last few days have not been overly warm, but they've still been above where we should be for this time of year. We hit the low 40s yesterday, and I expect temperatures today to crack 50 for us here. So again, the nice weather just keeps on going. Looking at temperatures this morning that are mild for a morning in January. Temperatures at 36 in Lima and Wampanoag, 34 in Bluffton and Finley. Looking at the setup here, we have clouds moving back in. We did see a little sunshine if you were outside around 4.30, 5 o'clock, right before sunset yesterday. The sun was shining. We had some clear skies for a few hours, and then the clouds came back. And overall, we expect a fairly cloudy day today, so not much in the way of sunshine. There is moisture trying to move in. Now, right now, this moisture is not in the low levels. It's a, it's a loft. So any moisture that we're seeing right now is not reaching the ground. But with time, we're going to saturate the atmosphere a bit more. And as that happens, we could start to get a few sprinkles later this morning. And then I think as we get toward the evening, we'll have a few isolated rain showers. But the rain today is not going to be impressive, so don't cancel those plans. I definitely think you're still going to have plenty of opportunities to get outside and enjoy those temperatures that again will be really uh, on the mild side for us. So you can see this morning getting towards 11 a.m. A few isolated rain showers and we have a lot of dry weather this afternoon. You get into the evening around five, six o'clock. We start to see the radar light up a bit more with these isolated showers, but nothing overly widespread for us. And then tonight as we continue to see the moisture build, not only could we see a couple showers, but we could also see some fog. So just want to give you a heads up that as we head into late tonight, uh, for all those uh, third shifters and those that will be heading out early tomorrow, could have to deal with some localized dense areas of fog, compromising some of that visibility early on our Thursday. And then again, all week we've been talking about Thursday as the day where we would see the most active weather, and that will come in the form of rain as we head into Thursday morning, uh, really right around sunrise. I expect the rain to build in. And it's going to be a pretty wet day for us here. I think the rain will be with us throughout the daylight hours. The heavier and a little bit steadier rain will be down to the south. The rain not quite as heavy to the north. As we make our way into later in the afternoon, the moisture will start to move out just as the cold air starts to arrive. You remember yesterday this map was showing a lot of deep blues where we would see heavier snow. But now we're not seeing as much in the way of that. The system has turned a little bit weaker. So with the lack of cold air, we really need the system to be more dynamic to pull down the cold air from the upper levels to bring it down to the ground. So with the system a little bit weaker, that can't really happen. So that lowers the chances of any meaningful snow. Here's the rainfall forecast. You can see, could see up to around a half inch, maybe as much as three quarters of an inch, especially south and east of town, and then a bit less to the north. I think this model's underdoing the totals here in the northwest counties. I think most of us will see up to around a half the inch of rain. And then here's the snow. Again, not impressive. It looks like, uh, especially east of I-75, is the best chance to get a light accumulation, mainly on grassy surfaces. But it doesn't look like a widespread issue or any widespread concerns. But we could see a couple slick spots uh, as we head into Thursday night, early Friday. We do cool down from the mid-40s tomorrow, the low 30s Friday with flurries. But the weekend, hey, it's not looking too bad. It's going to be cool Saturday, but we'll have the sunshine. And then we warm up nicely again by Sunday. I was kind of hoping for a little more snow, but I'll take sun on Saturday. That looks good. Yeah, I like yeah. the sunshine coming back. All right, thank you, Nathan.